what is up I'm Alexis V, I'm a Jane on I'm a Jane TV and we are here today before I start yawning again it's gonna come I don't know why I'm yawning it's just it's annoying now it's starting to get annoying actually because I've been yawning since yesterday okay so we are going to do a reaction on Icon Dive and this is the first comeback for me uh, without B.I. For those who don't know, B.I. is my bias in Icon. He's always been my bias. And ever since that virus came along and went and destroyed his career and it was found out that he was actually proven innocent, I question people that love to spread false information. I question them. And I always love to question the netizens that love to go to the hate onto the cancelling culture bandwagon, which they love to do. And it's not just Korean, there's people, tons of people, especially in old K-pop, if you don't if you go into the website, there's always those people that are saying all sorts of shit. So with that being said, we are going to go here and I know the boys miss uh, B.I. I know they do and I really hope that Icon as a group leave YG and get into a better uh, co company lab a label company so that B.I. maybe probably go back to to Icon because really and truly Icon B.I. belongs to Icon that's that's periodly speaking, period, periodically speaking. He belongs in Y, in, um, not YG, he belongs in Icon. He's the leader of Icon. Icon is nothing without BI, but that's just me. Okay, so this is going to be the first comeback. And you know what pisses me off the most is the fact that YG decided not to credit BI's hard work for this comeback because he written songs for Icon. Are you taking a piss? Are you taking a piss? So that really kind of like really upset me that he that YG gone and done that knowing knowing how talented BI they could have credited him because he worked so hard to do what he does songwriting and songwriting for his group for his uh, people his members so with that being said we're going to do icon dive in three two one go go it is not the same about is that bobby no he's one of the members Is that actually Bobby with red hair? Oh, uh, he, he's Jeff one, right? Oh, Junwe! Oh, look at Junwe! Look at him! Oh, this beautiful man! Look at his hair! He let it grow. He is. He is. I forgot his name. Shoot. Oh, it's Union. Yeah, I call him Union for sure because he's so long. He's got such a long name. Oh, I miss Bo I miss Bi in this group. It is Bobby. Actually, Bobby looks good with red hair. I'm not gonna lie. I imagine. I I'm wondering what is Bobby really thinking right now. He must be really disappointed in YG letting go B.I. Knowing he, I think he knows the truth. I think he knows the fact that B.I. never took those drugs. But there again, YG being YG, trying to protect his face, as always. He just gone and does the fucked up. But I'm only gonna 
they are doing a good group. They're doing a really good group trying to keep together because it's not easy. A situation like this is not easy. I really feel bad for the boys, but I know they're strong boys. They're all strong. remorse he must have something in his heart that he feels bad for doing what he did I just think that YG has become really arrogant it's probably just me YG himself because look at how he's treating Blackpink he's not treating them properly either and then he's assigned to making a new girl group but you know what? I, I'm, I'm happy for the boys. They, they, they're keeping it strong. They're keeping this group strong. So, oh my goodness, yeah, they're keeping this group strong just to not feel discouraged and upset. The fact that they have a missing piece, a missing puzzle, a missing puzzle was you, you can tell. And you know, for new K-pop fans, probably not. But us old. OG K-pop fans, we see it, we see it, we see it, and you know when you see it, you see it, you see it, there's, there is, you can't go wrong, you can't do anything about it, so I wonder what people, oh, oh, yeah, what did I say, people, OG fans know he's innocent, and they want him back, and it's the comments that said it, they want him back, B.I. needs to go back to, uh, to Icon, even if he finds a different label, but still be in a group, like Ravi. Ravi's still in VIX, and yet he decided not to sign up again with Jellyfish, because he wants to do his own thing. So he wants to do his own music, his own sound, his K-hip-hop side. So he decided to do his own label, while promoting, still promote with Vix. He's a smart man. And I think B.I. deserve to be still an icon while being pretty open up his own label and be in the group. That's, that's, I think that's, that would be the only option. The only option should be that. So with that being said, you know what, I'm proud of the boys, I give them a 10 out of 10 because it is very hard and it's not easy for them, I know it's not easy for them, especially especially that not only them but YG in general are all associated with the virus and I'm not talking about coronavirus, no, I'm not talking about that virus, I'm talking about the virus that has caused all of this drama from last year from two years ago that all started two years ago with T.O.P and then it's and then it continued last year with her reappearing and gone and said that B.I. did drugs when it wasn't true they investigated last year they they had they said oh yeah he's guilty he's guilty he's guilty and then because it's word of mouth it wasn't even actual facts because she loves that's what she loves to do she just loves to talk so much trash because that's what she does that's why I don't call her a name that's why I call her a virus because that's what she is because she's she's literally ever since last year she's gone and destroyed people's careers people's livelihood why would you do that and I understand she she's she says she's a so-called feminist I really don't like feminist people, especially the women. They're, they are the most hated people in the world right now because they talk so much bullshit. They talk so much bullshit, it is ridiculous. So, yeah. So, I, I really, really deciding that BI should go back to Icon while signed up, probably in his own company or in a different company.
if somewhere somewhere he he needs i, I know he's a, he, i know bi is a smart guy i know that's that's gonna happen that's it's, it's eventually it's gonna happen eventually so that being said i'll give it a 10 out of 10 i'm proud of the boys they're so brave so brave they're so brave they're so they, these men these young men are brave brave young men because we all know they miss their leader they miss their leader like the fuck they miss the leader but with that being said this teaches netizens stop criticizing everything stop believing word of mouth that is not even prove proven to be facts because they're so quick to attack and look what happened look what happened now look at you now look at yourselves and rethink this is what I always say, think before you speak. If you don't have proof, if you don't have the receipts, it's better off to just don't say anything because netizens in general, they don't, they, they very quick with the keyboards because since they, they don't go and bullying people, they just very quick to bully people online, which that, that bullying online, it needs to stop. It needs to die down. I don't know when and how, what ways because back in my days where before before it well even the internet was around when the messaging was around there was no cyber bullying it was just like three four years later all of a sudden i started to learn cyber bullying was a thing i was like what the heck is a cyber bullying but now i know well not now but a year later and i understood what cyber bullying was it was basically you still bully people but you're commenting on their social media or on their YouTube channel. That's cyberbullying. Basically that. So yeah guys, stop with the cyberbullying and make sure you this is a, a really really useful lesson for everyone to think before you write, think before you speak. Stop believing everything what people say about these celebrities. The celebrities, the celebrity does stop doing that, stop doing that, stop, stop. If you don't know if it's proven to be true, say nothing because these are the consequences that happens and then it's proven that they're innocent and then you guys look like like a bunch of idiots and then your your hypocritical side just kicks in and says, like, oh, I'm so sorry, too late, too late. Either they ruined their, their, what's it called again, their career's being ruined or they kill themselves. All thanks to you guys with your comments and with your words and calling them names, calling them ugly, calling them this, calling them that. So I'm so proud that BI hasn't gone to that, to that scoop down that level. I am proud of him. I am so proud of him that he didn't go done mess up things at the moment. So with that being said guys, go and show your love with your faves. If you see cyberbullying, especially when it comes to these guys, K-pop idols, report them, please report them. Even if YG doesn't give a shit, I don't know, report it somewhere. Somewhere, because I know YG ain't gonna do shit, because he, obviously, as always, YG doesn't get, doesn't care. He doesn't care. The company, his staff, do not care. So, find a proper person, the correct person to to sue them especially if you're Korean go and find like authorities file a complaint file reports to the police and I know it's, it's gonna be very difficult but that's the only way to to stop cyberbullying and to stop people spouting false information slandering people's name saying that they seen them do them they seen them do drugs but they it hasn't been and it wasn't true. So with that being said, report their social media, everything. Do it. So with that being said, I uh, love you all. I give us a 10 out of 10. Like I said, I'm proud of them. They come back, remind me of the, some of the old stuff. So with that being said, yes, that's what I want to say. And you and everyone, and so on, hey all.